Kim. <laughs> Jeeves, but... Kim, I'm not, I'm not giving you anything this morning. But... <laughs> What happened? Whoa. The fans meeting went on for quite a long time. And um, yeah, that was a long fans meeting last night. Eh? So we're supposed to be on the river. Top of six, it's now quarter to seven. And um, yeah, it's not, not good. Really. Pretty good rough, eh? I'm glad you. There might have been the 400 brandies in the pan that he gave me last night. But uh, and I'll survive. I'll be all right. What's the plan for today? Plan for today, we've got our guide here today. He's going to show us uh, a few of the lecker spots in the river. And hopefully, some bigger fish in the river this time. Um, yeah, something around 500 grams per kg in the river would be a nice fight there. That's the plan. So, it's the final morning here at, uh, at Rivoli. Unfortunately, but um, the lovely thing is we're going to go do a last river session. We're going to go to a section of river that we haven't fished as yet. And Farron Spurge, Spurge who's, the, who's the owner, his son, is going to be coming with us to show us, show us the ropes and show us around the rivers there and that. And guide us to, into hopefully some really good trout. Um, yesterday we had a really, really good session. We got a lot of numbers. Um, I think we probably got about 80, 85 fish in, in total. Um, and uh, and um, quite quite a few small fish. So today we're going to go and look for the for the bigger fish. Farron says there's quite a few big pools uh, and deep pools that, that he knows of uh, where some big fish have been caught. <coughs> so he's going to take us to those spots. And he's fished this this area all his life. He's 12, but he's he's out whenever he's on the farm all day every day fishing and and, and, and hunting and whatnot. So. He knows the area well, so we're looking forward to getting taught a few um, a few lessons by Farron here, yeah, and uh, hopefully you can get us uh, get us tight. So, Farron, you looking forward to it, boy? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I reckon we're going to get some good fish today, and hopefully the river's in good condition. And there will be a lot of the small guys, but I reckon we can get some of the bigger ones. I lost the fisher now. But just close your fly and let it um, just let it like run down. And then when you mend, just mend upstream like that. Quite a nice one as well. Like like a 30 centimeter one, yeah. Can't see anything in this clear. It's not a hoppy my hangover either. We 
is done for the day. Very nice. Thanks for holding a party. Yeah, boy. What fly are you using there, Farron? Nice, buddy. So the big, nice little fish, yeah. Well done, Boyki. Nice, nice. <clears throat> All that. <laughs> Time for a change up. Show the camera? Ah, never mind. <laughs> and I caught you, I caught everything on camera. I, I had a feeling you would catch it, so I started recording you. Hold on. Cause this is like a seven meter drop off here. Hey? Yeah. I'm gonna die today. And you're feeling so nimble. Yeah, no, exactly. You want me to hold something? Yeah, please, bro. Hold me. Dignity. Yeah, hold me. <laughs> Cause he, and he, oh, his weight is actually average, eh? Yeah. Put khakis on a walk in the river with khakis, it's not that far. <clears throat> well, hey, I, I would have done that if but, uh, my mate of mine didn't say bring weight. There's a lunch in there. Huh? There's a lunch in there. Yeah, 100% bro. Hey? I know, oh, cuz he. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wrong. It's not. <laughs> 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 There's no way can want to do that, bro. <sighs> yes, like, but try to get a flipping obese oak to a fence here. <clears throat> oh no, I'm gonna die here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Lens <laughs> slot. <laughs> That's what we're after. Okay. That's what we're after. Yep. That's better. Very nice. Very nice. Moin, man. Yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls and we all pray. Oh, now the hits, bro. The light of day, oh. down to the river. I have held the devil's hand. Oh, fell oh away yeah, yeah. my own sin. The heart man down to the river, down to the river. Oh, oh, bury me, carry me. Oh, oh, far beneath. Oh, oh, far and water me. Going down deep, saying, Oh, oh, bury me, carry me. Oh, oh, far beneath. Oh, 
Do you just want to just grab my rod there when you come past? This one. <laughs> Cause you want some lessons. Eh? What you got in there? Yeah, I'll just check it. Yes, yes. It's up in here, eh? Yeah. yeah, but you're crossing my lines and everything. Oh, here yeah, you go. You caught, yes, you stand, you caught lots, eh? Hey. But I told you to fish in the school, so yeah, even if you go first. You gave me a chance. <laughs> Nice trot here. Beautiful little rainbow. <laughs> Sunny fish bro. Oh no, he dropped off. Oh yeah. Giving up your cousin? Fire and water me. What you need? Lovely man. Beautiful, daddy. Beautiful. Hands forward to the camera to make it look bigger. Because <coughs> you're on fire here, buddy. You're on fire here. You gotta. I've got a. A world class guard, that's why. Onto the river. We're back on the river, we're coming to Ryan's little spot here. We caught a lot of trout here this morning. Um, and he's gonna chuck it into the rapids, let it drift on, and then he's been stripping really quickly and getting a lot of pulls. Beautiful section. We caught quite a few trout in the bottom ponds there. Using small uh, black flies and a very fast retreat in the pools, and that's a good success. So we're going to see how Danny's is going to try and get us a fish here. Hey, one. Good pull out there when first cross. Fish freaking jumping out here, bro. Time to now, I'm gonna get with smile. Get ready. I'm gonna take it. Oh, yeah. He's boxing, boxing, dad, boxing. There he is. Beautiful little trout, then. Stunning, stunning, stunning fish. The guys were saying these river trout have almost got like little spots in there, like um, 
little bit different to, to the dam trout we were getting. It had no spots on their flank, so I don't know what, why that is. It's in there, Hexie. <laughs> He's got... Uh, look at this way in, I don't know how it came out. Yeah, so it's our final day here at Rivoli and um, we've been fishing for probably the last three hours here on the on the river, just making our way up the river. Um, Farron's brought us to, to a spot that's uh, quite... Um, is, is pretty renowned for some big fish and big, big deep pools. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to sort of hook up on, on any of those fish. We have got quite a few smaller, small little um, uh, trout in that, in these, in these rivers and that, um, or in this river. Uh, and we saw two massive, massive, massive fish. So they are here. Um, it's just a, a matter of sort of being able to approach them from the, the right angle. And unfortunately, we actually spooked them. But um, good sort of, or oh, probably a five pound, five and a half, six pound, maybe six pound trout. Proper, proper fish. So two of them. And um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a lovely morning so far. You can't complain about being out, out here even if you're not catching fish. Um, so it's been, been really, really special and um, awesome to, to be walking this river with, with Farron and his, and his trusty sidekick here, um, Poppy. And um, yeah, it's been a cracker, cracker morning. Yeah. Absolute burner. It's puppet. Now we have to start all over again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I think Gareth would have gone straight back to that pool, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, better fish. Smally. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> little sneaky little fellow. Hey, they're stunning fish, hey. Look at that. Absolutely stunners. Off you go, daddy. Off you go. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, got him. One galloping mud beam here. Oh no, stuck around the rock. Oh no. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey, hey. Last one at River Lee, I think. Beautiful fish, man. Good job. Right, you boys ready? Unfortunately, the trip has come to an end. Um, the boys are busy packing up to duck and um, we have to leave this stunning area of Underberg. We've stayed at Riverley Cottages here in Underberg with um, the Flemington family. And I tell you what, guys, this place is absolutely Incredible. I was just saying to the Oaks, it's so lucky to be able to come away to a place where everyone gets into fish. Even G-Man who, <laughs> who probably has picked up a rod maybe three or four times in his life. And he was trout fishing and he got into a couple of fish. You know, so everyone can leave here knowing that they had a full, proper trip. You know, we've had good jaws, had a good couple of beers, some great fishing. Um, Gareth with that massive flipping almost four kilo trout. Uh, you know, Danny's got a big one, Ryan got a big one, we got 85 fish in one day on the river. It's just been, it's been incredible, you know. So, um, yeah, to Underberg, to the area, to River Lee, um, we're definitely going to be back. This will be an annual trip for us and, um, yeah, thanks to everyone from Underberg that helped make this happen. We'll definitely be back, chaps. Thank you.